All right, so check this out, right? I went out to the bar yesterday. It was a Saturday night. We had a good time. I'm down at the bar, and I'm speaking to this lady, uh, and we're just chopping it up. She's like, yeah, I used to live in this building. I'm like, word? Mm -hmm. What apartment? And she's like, oh, you know, I can't remember. I'm like, oh, okay, well, so you know the, the horrors of the brick wall, that it crumbles. You know that the ceiling leaks all the fucking time. She's like, yeah, yeah, it leaks all the time. It, it leaks in my bedroom when I, when I used to live there. I was like, yo, that's crazy. I'm like, because it leaks in my bedroom. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm speaking to this woman and, uh, you know, we're just chopping it up and I'm like, okay, hold on. I was like, do you remember what apartment it was? And she was like, no, I don't. But I remember I was on the top floor. I'm like, okay. I was like, was your neighbor Zach? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, there's no fucking way this is happening right now. Like, there's no way that the person I'm speaking to lived in the apartment before I lived in it. Nah, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of weird out. It was like, pretty weird, man. Like, like, did you get like a time date? Like exactly before? Uh, yeah, like she, so I moved in here like four years ago, right? Uh, -huh. uh I swear that number just keeps changing. It'd be three years, four years, but yeah, four years ago. Type shit. And then this guy pulled up and then he broke his leaf, uh, excuse me, he broke his lease six months in and then that's how I got into here. You know what I'm oh, saying? Man. So she was a tenant before the guy who I took over for, right? She was a tenant. So it's just weird because she's showing me pictures of this apartment and I'm like, that's not right, bro. Like, she knows my whole layout. She knows the whole crib. She's she like, yeah. In. <laughs> hey. Exactly. She knows. That's crazy. And then she was like, oh, is the code to the door still? Oh. And I was like. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, and that's the part. Like, the landlords, they do, they do like, not change locks and code and shit. They just be leaving it. They really should, though, on it, for yeah, real. Like, yeah, that's kind of, that's really a real safety hazard. For real. So I, I met this woman, weird, weird story. You know, she bought me a shot of tequila. That was cool. I don't drink tequila, but it was all right. You know, yeah. I'm, although I'm Spanish, we don't dance <laughs> on it for real. Dude. So like, here's the thing. I'll be quite honest. Did you turn the mic on, by the way? Yeah, you just flipped the switch upward. It's on. There we go. Oh, now yeah, we can yeah, hear you. Know. Yep. Now, nah, it would be weird if I just came home and there was someone sitting in my crib. I mean, she was all right. She wasn't bad. I wouldn't be upset. But it, at the same time, I'd be like, hold on, what are you doing here? You know, so that's what she wasn't bad. <laughs> yeah. Her name was Casey. Casey. Okay, okay. I was like, oh, Casey, is it with a K or a C? She's like, what type of question is Casey. that? Shout out, Casey. Don't be on no weird stuff, though. Nah, don't shout out. We got Guapo. I thought it was on W or L Riz. What's that? W or L Riz. You said K or C. Uh, I think it was a K. W wait, I'm sorry. W or L Riz? Yeah, what you, you mean? The question. You thought you was risen? Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah, bro. For sure. We were, yo, we were good. About. Well, listen, listen. <laughs> oh, okay. So my name is Kevin, but it's spelled K-E-V-E-N. Okay? I got two E's. So that's why I brought that up because it's an important question. And she was like, what do you mean? I'm like, oh, listen. Yeah, your name is spelled like that. It is, bro. Uh, cause I didn't, at first, I was like, I didn't really like you. Now I hear you saying it. I would tell you you pronounce it a different way. Yeah. You're supposed to pronounce it Kevin, mm -hmm. but I'm like, yo, fuck that, bro. You don't got to do all that. Just okay, call me yeah, Kevin. Yeah. You're cool. <laughs> but with that being said, welcome to the Middleman Podcast. I am the man in the middle, Kevin Martinez. And today I am joined by Sha Fresh Sha Fresh Kabar, you know what a vibe. Big bake in the building. All right. Baker Immaculate in the stew. I appreciate you all for being here. We got Charles on the mic. I think he's going to try Charlie, to steal the Charlie, show. Charlie. 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 We're going to start off like that. No Charles. We're going to do No Charlie. Charles. How about yeah. Chuck? Nah, I don't fuck with Charlie. Ah, nah, there it is. I ain't gonna right? lie. Nah, I don't fuck with that shit <laughs> yeah, at all. Yeah, nah, I don't, I don't fuck, fuck with <laughs> Charles Barkley. Yeah, nah, That's what they call him. That. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know a few Charlies, and they hate the word Chuck. Yeah, they nah, it's because I used to be get. I used to get mixed with someone else named Chuck back in the day, and he was doing a whole other shit. And it's like niggas who used to think I was him. And it's like, nah, I'm not him. <laughs> Wrong nigga. Him and I are not the same. Facts. We are not the same. But anyway, so welcome to the Middleman Podcast, Baker Immaculate. I'm excited you guys are here. Uh, you guys are making some big moves, you know, clothing brand, music, uh, and vlogging. So we got a lot to cover here, man. We got a lot to cover. Yes, sir. For sure. I think we should. Uh, I think we should just start with who you are. You know, what, what's going on with you? What's What's your main goal, Shah Fresh Kabar? Would you say that you're at the you know helm of the operation? Yeah, yeah. I uh, oversee everything and make the press the button on the moves. Um. Yeah, basically, we just started. We really want to get into everything. So, like, right now is vlogging, the music, the clothes. But we plan to try to do movies. We want to do everything. We want to be like a um, what's what's the label? Like a Rockefeller, cause mm. Rockefeller they started with the music, 
on Independent, and then they had like movies like Same they did. Property. They did like Paid in Full. You ever seen Paid in Full? Mm-hmm. That's like a classic. So stuff like that. Um, just try to make it as big as possible. You know, that's interesting. You mentioned that because I was watching uh, the Team Scooby interview that you guys had, and uh, you know, you mentioned that. It's much more, Baker Immaculate is much more than just music. You know, it's also about being uh, creators, content creators. You know, everyone has their own personality. Even even if you don't like rap in the group, you know, you still have a personality and it could bring and highlight the energy for the for the brand. So I think that's uh, brilliant on your mind to just be able to do that. You know, to compare it to Rockefeller would be, uh, that'd be dope, bro. Yeah, because like the group aspect, like, I feel like everybody contribute. Everybody, even like the quiet person could contribute, like, you know, and they just being quiet. Everybody play a character. It's like a TV show. You know how you let the, uh, it's like the loud, funny one. And then it's like the, what's, what's it called? The one that everybody just crack on all day. But like, mm-hmm. that's like, it's like real life stuff. So I feel like everybody can relate. It's authentic, just us being ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So why don't we talk about roles? You know, what's, what's everyone's role? What is your role? You know, and we'll pass a, we'll pass a baton across the room and just see what everyone plays in Baker Immaculate. So right now it's just, um, we we really still finding out the roles for everybody right now, trying to get the strong suits and stuff situated. But we just letting it fall into play right now. So right now I'm I'm like so yeah, I, uh, like I said, I press the button on everything, and I tell them probably what they should do, and sometimes they give me insight on like what's best or what they think we should do next. Um, they give out a lot of ideas and they help me a lot too. So. Yeah, we get them. Family. You got I, the mic. Me, Charlie. I, I be um. I was the manager at first, but I had to step down. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> a little too much security right now. But nah, I'm trying to do like the skits and stuff right now because I'm a funny ass nigga. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like if niggas would really know me, like niggas know me. I'm like really funny. So like when we do our skits, our music videos, like I got wild ideas. That's that's my idea. That's my job right now. Let's come up with the ideas right now. You're good with uh, the commercials. Commercial, bro. Have you seen any of our commercials? Bro? I've seen, I've seen a few Tell of the you. commercials. Yeah, I'm that guy. And we got the cameraman over here. He look like he's slumped. Is he asleep? You all right, dude? <laughs> <laughs> we all play. We all play factors. So we all turn the camera. In. Who me is no? I mean, I, I hold the camera. He hold the camera. I be the cameraman sometimes. Yeah, yeah it's whoever. Till it it we get our, our own real cameraman, because sometimes like we do footage do be like a little shaky sometimes. So I'll be like. And we either got to get better or we got to add somebody to the team. Hey, you yeah. know what, though? You got to start somewhere on it for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not against adding someone to the team. Or for me, as long as it's like, no one to just, someone that I fuck up the vibe. But there's always other people. Like, you could try. If someone don't work out, try again. You know? So talk to me about the original members of the team. You know, who was it originally starting out? How did you guys all meet? And, you know, who has joined the journey since then? All right, so first... We all really knew each other from school, so like playing ball, coming up, um, and then I got close with Fancy, and Fancy, um, we was like, like we had some friends. Well, we still cool with them now, but it was like a group we had before, and then we that broke apart. So we wanted to make our own son. Like we wanted to start to build a brand. I was just, I think at the time I was uh, looking at Nipsey Hustle and how he was just like preaching about building a brand. So I was just. Like, we should come up with a name. And then we came up with the name. And we just put everybody that was our friends at the time, who he was really rocking with, was his Charles. And then his brother, uh, Brizo Benz, he's not here right now. Mm-hmm. And then it first started out like that. And then as it going, feel me? We just, everybody we mess with is here. That's awesome. No, yeah, literally. There's some people that we were fucking with in the beginning. So hold it. Make sure you hold yeah, that. My bad. Now nah, you good, bro. The people that we were fucking with in the beginning, there's only like like only a couple branched off, but it's still the remainder of the group. Like the same people like from the start is still here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit. just come with it though. I feel like people people put themselves in that position, so cut them off. That's just son. You just gotta uh get with the program. So it'd be hurting sometimes, but it's cool, you know. Yeah, having a couple people off reworking the team. I understand. Right. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. I, you freshly understand. So I understand, bro. Don't you worry, man. I you know, I have talked <laughs> to my team at times. You know, we've had we've had some changes. Um, you know, and, and sometimes you'll sit there and you're question if it's you that's a problem or if it's like, you know, something else externally that's going on. You right, know? right, right. Yeah. 
So you guys started uh, Baker Immaculate, but what came first? Was it the music? Was it the dream and love for music? Or was it the dream and love for clothing? I think it was both, right? Yeah, for me, I always love clothes. So that's that's like me right there. Like clothes, um, um, that's all set. But uh, yeah, music, like we would all just be freestyling. Freestyling, uh, he got something to say. If you're going to grab the mic, fans, you grab the mic. Nah, facts. When we first started, we used to just, like, be on some hot shit, on some young shit, just rapping and shit. I was like, yo, you nice, bro. Like, you should rap type shit. No, and that's when he started going crazy with it. I'm like, yo, we could get famous. <laughs> I was word, like, word. I can't rap. <laughs> I just fuck around with it. I'll be on some, you feel me, high shit. I'm the man. I'll probably say some fire shit here and there. Yeah, drop but a But they dime. nice. So I'm like, yo, if y'all, we take this shit serious, we could be out of here. Nah, he, he better than he uh, give himself credit for. I tell yeah. him that. Nah, but. he be bullshitting on his music. Like, because he has a couple, he acts like he don't be rapping, but he has at least four songs out. I have zero songs. So mm. I'm really the nigga that don't be yeah, rapping. Yeah, he don't rap at all. But He's he feel me. If I really times. wanted to hop on that shit, I probably would have. But it really I, the I, don't know. It, it really just, I don't know. It's, I don't know how. Really was trying to get them on. in the, uh, the Twitch space, but I don't think they, they into it. So, but we got, for me, it's other avenues. Yeah, no, no I, I, sure. I'm going to get into it. It's just the timing right now. Timing ain't right. It's, for me, best time. We always got to start, though. Nah, that's a fact, though. I'll be telling you. You know start. what I think we got to start after this podcast on a for real? We got to have a, whole, a full, like, uh, rap session here. So as, as Fancy was saying, bro, <laughs> you might you might not sit here and say you're a rapper, right? I'm not. I'm not by any means, bro. But I'll sit here and I'll freestyle and I might drop a dime like I really would, you know? Pick I, it up, throw the Drop alley. a dime? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Say it all the time, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kmar with two Ts, three, two, one, under the sun. Got no gun, no need to run. That's my tagline. Damn. <laughs> got him. <laughs> You know, so so that's what it's all about, man. I'm all for that. So that's that's the energy that we're gonna get into after the after the podcast. Mike, you gotta record that. That's gonna be a pretty legendary session there. Um so so it seems like clothing and, and music, it just all happened at once. Yeah, type shit. It really was the uh the music, because I don't think they knew I could I could design something or make something look like No, nah, but you was talking about it though. You just it wasn't like it was an idea though. It's not like it wasn't thought of. Now nah, facts, so Cause, yeah, that is true. I was talking about it, but you know, talk is cheap. Nah, but my nigga, nah, talk yeah. wasn't cheap. You actually did it. Nah, yeah, that's fact. And if you notice with the shit, all the everything's getting better and better. Like at first, the 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 suits was I. Mm-hmm. You feel me? The, the shirts was I. And it's just getting better and better. And once y'all see the sweaters, it's gonna go crazy. So designing that that all came from you. Yeah. Is that something that you just had within you, or something that you learned in school? Nah, I ain't learn that school. That's uh, that's in me. It ain't on me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, my son used to come out with, with some shit on. I ain't gonna lie. Like he, he, yeah, nah, he used to always throw his shit together. So it's like, my fashion game is awful, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. <laughs> nah, my. feel me. But you wear what fits you because you might wear. Uh, if you try to put on what I fit, what I put on, it probably won't look right. Yeah, but agree. feel me, is everybody, everybody. As long as you know how to dress to what feel me, it look. Then I feel like you putting that shit on, but. If you're trying to do something that's too much, then it's like, nah, chill, bro. What you doing? You're doing too much. Chill, bro. Yeah, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. So Baker Immaculate, right? What what's the true meaning of Baker Immaculate? What what was the the how did the name even come to you in the first place, bro? Um, I don't even know to be honest. I but I do know like Baker, I always did I before like anything, you know how like they give you the the sheet of stuff where you could your career goes when you're in high school and stuff. Culinary arts, I I was I used to be like, I'm gonna go to school for culinary arts. Even when, like with the CTC, mm-hmm. I was gonna try to do that. They deny me. Yeah, because you know so, you can't cook, bro. I could cook, bro. You wild, bro. <laughs> Especially now. I mean I got older, so I had to I got a couple Man, things. Sure. But yeah, but um so I guess like the I always wanted to do something with Baker and then my family could cook. Something like that. But then Baker Mac, it just sounded cool and then uh the meaning came afterwards. So like I um Basically, Baker Mac, I mean, like, if you, anybody could be a baker. So if you waking up every day, just trying to better yourself, whether you going to the gym, whether you um trying to find a new way to get some money, uh, working on your mental health, it don't matter. Anything that is something progressive, then you're a baker. And so, like, baker is like, you're in the process of baking something. Trying, and then immaculate is, immaculate is perfect. So everybody ain't perfect, but you, every day you want to, and the progress of being a perfect version of yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's you want to be in the kitchen every day. Like you know, you're trying cooking. to make it perfect. Yeah, yeah exactly. Cook, cooking up so. something. 
Yeah. And the way you put it, 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 it could be as simple as uh, just getting up and going to the gym. You know, it could be as simple as just like uh, having a conversation. I'm reading this book right now. It's called uh, A Creative Act, The Way of Being by Rick Rubin. I don't oh, know if you heard yeah. of it. No, nah, I never heard of it. I know who Rick Rubin is, though. Yeah, no, I'm that. Look into it. I'm like five entries in. So the way it is, it's not like a chapter reading book, right? Mm-hmm. It's not one that you go like every day and you read like all the way through. It's kind of one that you could read an excerpt and then like digest it. It may resonate with you or may not resonate with you. And he tells you that. He's like, look, I'm not no like psychologist or anything like that. These right, are just right. my thoughts, my entries, so on and so forth. So the first chapter in it is just like the way of a creator, right? And it's like everyone is a creator. Everyone has an, an art into them. It's just some people uh, think that you and I, right? Let's just use you and I as an example. They think that we are like blessed. We have something within us that allows us to do what we are chasing our dreams to do. So like, right, right. but the reality of the fact is, is everyone's a creator. Exactly. It doesn't matter how small the, the context is. All right. So he put it in this perfect context. You and I, we're having a conversation right now, right? Mm-hmm. I say an idea, you, you talk to me, you, you say your idea, um, and we just go back and forth, right? That right there, that simple exchange is a creation of a conversation. Right. Exactly. Congratulations, you're a creator. Exactly. Everybody, yeah, because everybody got their own insight. Everybody is raised different. I feel like everybody got something in them. You know, God created everybody equal. Whether, like, you born with a disability or something, I feel like your strength is in somewhere else that normal people don't got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like everybody could do something, create something. I don't, I don't get that, like, oh, yeah, these people... Plus, they better think they better than me, or I feel like they better than me. Like everybody, you just gotta have that self confidence in yourself, that delusion. You know what I'm saying? It's a little delusional, but feel me, that's what it take to get to where you want to go. You know what I'm saying? I like how you said that. It could be taken as delusional. People might think we're crazy. On a, on a for real, people might think we're crazy. You know, just not conforming to the to the lines of society. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, yeah, doing that, doing the day in and day out work. What do you got? What do you got? You know, because that shit unheard of. You, our parents and their parents is used to nine to fives and just working their life and just building throughout society how they got it. So now we stepping out the boundary and we we doing rap and we doing vlogging and we we doing this content creator work and we trying to step out the boundary and be different and it's something they're not used to. So I'm saying uh, that's yeah. why we, we we drawing a different picture for everybody. Yeah, everybody don't get it. They're not going to get it off rip. We're, uh, we're paving the way for the next generation in, in a sense. You know, think right. about it. Like, you know... Uh, let's think about tattoos, right? Let's just think about tattoos. Tattoos, um, when it when it comes to tattoos, the older generation, a majority of them don't have them. You see a bunch of older people who are in their 80s, you know, they don't have any tattoos on them, right? But you see our generation, and a majority of us do have tattoos. And we're not even, we're not even worried about how the tattoos are going to look when we get old, because we don't have that many examples to look at what it looks like when a tattoo is old. You know what nah, I mean? Nah, but I, I always thought, even if my shits was to start getting fucked up, just get them redone again. I don't care. Nah, nah I've seen shit. some old people with tattoos, nah, but it's not as much. Like, they'll probably have, like, some small shit, and they'll be meaningful. I, if we out here sleeved up. I ain't got nothing yet, but I'm, I want them tattoos. I ain't gonna yeah, so it's like... All my tats that I have on me, too, because I got, like, nine of them, but everyone means something, though. It's not... I didn't just get shit put on me just because, like... It's like everything, every single tat on me, it, it like means something. Like, right, and that's probably why like Jobs had to uh, crack down on a tattoo, like people um, not getting a job because of how they look, because it was so much. So, like, Dude, check that out. That's kind of nuts, right? To get on your fucking wrist right there. <laughs> what is that right. exactly, though? All right, so this little side conversation. Uh, this right here, there's another one right there. And turn, and turn, look right behind you. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, shout out Eric Bussart. Uh, he's a muralist in downtown Scranton. Right. Right. Um, and he created this character named Brick, and he created 31 different versions of his character for a challenge called Inktober. Had a whole podcast about it. It was a great show. Um, but during the show, I was like, yo, bro, would you mind if I got this tatted? And he was like, by all means, dude. He's like, whatever you want right. to do, you know, go, go ahead and get a tatted. I was, I was like you at one point where I thought that my tattoos needed meaning. You know, that I really was like, yo, they all need meaning, so on and so forth. Then after a while... I'm only I'm only 25, but now I'm just like fuck it. Like I'm just gonna get whatever I want because I appreciate the art. Mm-hmm. That's why. So with this right here, it's it's a guy holding a chainsaw. I'll, I'll show you later. Um, and it's on my wrist, bro. Like it's right here. Like you see it when I shake someone's hand. Mm-hmm. There's a brick with blood 
dripping. Like, it's kind of nuts. Is it not? <laughs> like, and then I got this dinosaur on my arm right here. Yeah. Now, that's fine, though. I feel like, but still, like, even, like, it's, that's still some sort of meaning. You like it. And somebody, somebody you know created that. It's not like, it's not like you went to the uh, tattoo shop. It's like, just throw this Design shot. book. And was like, <laughs> what do you like? And got one of them Ed Hardy uh, tattoos. I don't like that. <laughs> feel me? I ain't got nothing against if you do that. Feel me? But, not for me. But I like, but if I would, see, I would do something like that. But probably, I'll probably, and then I'll probably start adding more uh, of them like that. Because that's fire. I like that. That's definitely the plan is to add more. I intend to have a full sleeve. Uh, not like where's, where's Waldo, where's Brick. But mm-hmm. it, different versions of this character. But we got off topic. Let's let's refocus here and talk about Baker Immaculate, bro. Um, you know, I love the clothing here. Uh, I love the videos you guys are doing. Uh, I've seen uh, I've seen a few tr- trivia giveaways that you guys are doing. You know, um, the hat is super slick. You got the 888. You know, speak to me about the significance of these designs that you do, mm-hmm. the significance of the logo. Because he's there. He's chefing it up. What's coming out of the pot? Right. Our ideas. The pot, yeah, the pot is everything that we want. We want to create, and then what we're trying to make out of it. We want that green stuff, nah. But I mean, that we just I <laughs> love the though. I love the um. I keep doing this, even if like, even if I was to get just get a good job and I don't get nowhere with it. I like I'm so like I love music, clothing. I'll probably just keep doing this, even if I never made it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like um, you gonna make it though. Yeah, I'm gonna make it. I don't sure. doubt it. I'm I don't doubt for it. For sure, for sure. Your clothing is honestly top of the line, bro. I, I respect the shit out of it because there's a, a wide variety of designs, you know, that you have limited releases, you know, like shirts that probably will never be printed again, you know, but it's a part of a movement. It's like, when did you join the movement? Exactly. You know, so. <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm gonna have you know a, a newer hat, you know. So it's like, oh, Kev joined the movement in 2023. For sure. And you know? I do got your stuff, but I think I left in the car. That bound, that oh, you got the bag. You, you got the bag. Me. All right. You oh, know what? Yeah. Hit me with some trivia questions. Make me earn this shit. Let's see what we got. You guys are pretty entertaining, you know. So <laughs> some trivia. Oh, uh, wait. Well, what was some trivia questions? Uh, Name all you guys, bro. That's the worst question, but let me see if I can do it, okay? Because I, I smoke bud, so I be getting lost in the sauce. Yeah, of course. Um, we got Sha, we got Charlie. Jeez. Uh, we got Fancy. Oh, fuck, bro. I know your name. I think it starts with a G, too. Money? Guap. Nah, nah. Guapo. Guapo. Yeah, word, Guapo. Word, word. And then uh, David. You're you going to tell him. Yeah. You said, David. Well, <laughs> give, me, give me a different trivia nah, question. Yeah, Let's right, see. So. Come on. So what was the oh nah the one that was funny um was the one I'm gonna say the one you said it was like why how does a girl sleep um so how doesn't she sleep twenty six days like how does a girl not sleep twenty six days how does a girl not sleep twenty six days that is a like she just stayed up twenty six days hmm that's a lot that's a little content I don't I'm not really too sure as to how to answer that one and then the hint was like she don't she don't take naps in the day. You just don't take naps in the day. <laughs> <laughs> that was your hint. <laughs> so how does she stay up for 26 days straight? Is the question? No, it's just how does she stay up for 26 days? Nah, we're going to have to pop some questions. because that, That's not given. It's not right. given. What's the answer that to the that, question? though? It's bugging it's me cause, out. It's because she sleeps at night. That's not gay. Okay. No, yeah. I I was yeah. going to guess that. Yeah. Because like, you, when you gave me the time context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of like, they don't, she doesn't take naps during the day. I'm like, okay, so then she takes naps at night. Yeah, yeah. She goes to that, sleep at night. Yeah, at night, yeah. That's that. And then we have we have music questions. But I ain't prepared for that. All right. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken <laughs> dinner. Gonna, Let's check it out. What do we got, my friend? You know Take off this bum ass Carhartt hat. No, that shit's that shit tough. Yeah, but that baker better, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna you know be honest. Saying? This shit got came from Timu. What's, what's that? You don't know about Timu? No. Nah. Never heard about Timu? I don't know about Timu. I heard about Timu. So that mean it might not be official? For a fact. <laughs> For a fact. I mean, it says Carhartt on it's the inside. Great, if it ain't, it's a good replica. Nah, uh, Timu is like a, a knockoff um, Amazon or Shein. It's not like a knockoff Shein. This is tough, man. I enjoy it. it. Significance of the 888 on the side. Let me ask you that. So that's like 888, like significance, uh, significant, whatever the word is, balance. You know what I'm saying? Um, So like, yeah, that's what it just balance. That's what we. That's what we want. Balance everywhere. I always. That's what. That's that shirt. This is that shirt. This I've seen that shirt before. I've seen it many show. times. That's the fire, and then the sweater's about to come. Mm. Nah, a, but, go ahead. I'm sorry. Nah, yeah, the um, 
the AA, it just balanced. That's what we strive for, you know. I be struggling just trying to balance everything out in life, period, you know. You know, got the, um, you know, got work every day, make money. Then you want to spend time with your family. You want to hang with your friends. You want to hang with your girl. But you also want to work. And then yes. you also want to grind. And, you know, it's just like trying to balance, you know. So how do you find yourself pushing through uh, little tidbits of self-doubt of, you know, of just like maybe a creative block? You know, how do you how do you get through uh that? That's like um a lot of times I gotta like I don't even know. Sometimes I gotta it's just that little bit of delusion like I said before. Just gotta keep going and just be yourself not trying to that's do right. something that's not um that's not you. Cause like yeah, that shit is so fire. This I love that shit. I'm but, not gonna <laughs> strip in the middle of the show, but during tea time I'll put it on. <laughs> Weird. But nah, yeah, like it's like sometimes I do do the self doubt thing. Like right now, even right now, I feel like the music. I've been like so focused on the um the business aspect of the music that I haven't been creating no music, and I feel like I got to warm myself back up, get back into it. But it's all a mental aspect. So some days I wake up like that, and then the next day I'll be like, "Bro, I'm not nigga." Like you know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah. Self assurance, man. You gotta you gotta have it within you. You gotta have right. that dog within you, you know. Um, so when did the clothing start? What was the year that the whole brand started? I don't think I ever asked you that question. I think uh twenty nineteen we started the brand and then like uh the clothing was like twenty twenty. Right okay. After that. But that started off with just T shirts, heat press, got a logo, I just made a font and then I um I photoshopped like a logo, it's like a hibachi chef with like a red background. And then I sent it to somebody, got it um remade, and that's the logo we got now. That shit's fire. And then um as we went on with the clothing, I needed another logo. So that's probably the one we got in our hats right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So where do you go and get your stuff printed? Do you print them yourself or do you, you know, outsource it to another company? Yeah, we started I started um doing it in the crib, just uh heat press in the um shirts, but then as I wanted to get into more like the sweatsuits and all that, I started outsourcing, yeah. As things are, like, getting into fruition, you know, uh, how, how surreal, how unreal is it? Did you think you'd be this far? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> but I'm trying to go further. Yeah. I, knew it, I knew it was, like, it's easy. You just got to put the effort in. That's all. It's, like, sometimes it's hard work. It takes long. But, like, you just got to keep going. That's all. That's all I can say because, like, yeah, just keep going. So with the clothing, you know, I think it's a fantastic clothing. You do have a website. Did you generate that website yourself? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I um, this is easy. Shopify and then the layout. I pay for the layout, and you apply it to your Shopify. It's is everything is YouTube. I'm YouTube University, mm -hmm. so it's like I ain't. It's nothing we can't learn. Straight computer in our hands every day. It's like you can't be scared of the information. People be swiping past information. Everything valuable. Mind power, the mind is the most powerful uh, muscle in the body. So you have your product on a website, right? Is there any ideas or any plans to get it into a store, or maybe open up a store of your of your own? Yeah, um, yeah, we're trying to do that soon. Want to do like a store with a studio? We just yeah, we just getting the ideas from right now. How are we gonna do the store the right way? It's gonna be it'll be like a. a our, the clothing line store, but it'll be mixed with something else. But we're trying to see what that something else is right now. Like a creative space, maybe. Yeah. Or some, we're thinking like studio or like, um, what, we, what we're going to do is also we're going to, um, we're trying to like, the clothing, see how we got our logos. Yes. We want to do it like, where it's like you could uh, do it yourself. Well, we're going to do it, but for me, you could design your own clothes and we could make it on the spot. Something like that. Or some just like um, I also want to start a stream, but that's probably we just waiting for the for me the legal, but everything to get legal because you know weed is everywhere, so we want to get into the, everything, you know. For sure. Have so, you uh have you attended any pop up shops? Um, like for the clothing, yeah, yeah. Um, I did upstate New York. I did it twice, but I haven't. I don't think that we did a pop up shop here. Oh, we did, yeah, but it ain't turn out that good. It ain't turn out good because <laughs> nobody was there for the public shop. Everybody came for a performance. We did, we performed that though. But yeah, we did like two. We're looking for more. 
I think if you present your product to a bunch of store owners, you know, you could definitely more than likely get into a First Friday type of event out here. You know First Friday? Nah, I never heard of that. First Friday, you guys don't know about First Friday? First Friday in downtown Scranton is when uh, the local stores, mom and pop shops, uh, they allow people to come into their store and, you know, represent their brand, whatever it is. So let's just, let's use a bizarre skate shop as an example, okay? Uh, they partake in it every First Friday of the month. Bizarre skate shop featuring tattoo artists for the night, you okay. know? And, and it's just like, they allow you to, to sell yourself and, mm-hmm. you know, use their store as a pop-up event of that weekend. And it's it's a big thing in Scranton, bro. First Friday is a big thing in Scranton. It's I've every never month. Heard of that? That's what That's I'm saying. That's crazy. Every month, dude. Every month they do that. Uh, you just gotta get tapped in out here. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're stop gatekeeping though. But see, I, that's why I, <laughs> I like this right here. He told me. Nah, I've definitely gotta look into that. At first Friday of every month. Yep, first Friday of every month. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and they even like print out like a a map for, let's just say if there's a tourist coming through, right? And they like want to look up first Friday, uh, what stores are doing what, who's going to be at where, and so on and so forth. Okay. So that's that's how they do it. Uh, for example, Analog Culture, shout out Analog Culture, uh, episode 100, the plan is to do a first Friday in a store for myself. You okay. know what I mean? Um, for sure. Five minute interviews, turn and burn. You know, that's like, fire. Uh, people get coming from the street. They just see a guy with a microphone and a headset just talking to a fucking camera. They might want to sit down and be like, yo, what do you do? Who are you? Like, what's going on? Stuff like that. That's a fact. Or you could do, um, yeah, yeah, that. And could I, I see a lot of content like that too. That would, that would, that would go crazy. I like that. It's collabing, man. It's all collabing. Uh, Scranton is, is pretty big. I think we're, um, they're doing a lot more with just trying to like highlight the area, highlight the people, highlight people who are doing things in different avenues, bro. On a for real, um, as we just said, paving the way for the next generation. Right. Um, and first Friday is a big thing out here, bro. They do it every first Friday of the do month. Do you know like what store you would do? Yeah, Analog Culture. Oh, oh, that's, okay. I, I didn't know that was just. Okay. That's one. I just dropped that tidbit. I didn't disclose the, uh, the location at all yet. Um, this is actually the first time I'm like disclosing the location. Exclusive. Um, <laughs> the plan is to have it done in February. Uh, episode 100 is going to be nuts because even after the fact, we're going to celebrate. We're going to have a, a pretty yeah, big... Been, I was looking. You on your grind. It's consistency. Working hard every day, man. Bro. Day in and uh, day out. I mean, I'm sure you can relate that it's a Sunday to Sunday type of thing. of being yeah, a, it's a, all America. hours of the day. It's not, it's not a nine to five. It's <laughs> whenever, you, whenever you can, if you could grind all day to do that, but... Start a podcast, they said. It'll be fun, they right. said. You know, it'll be easy, they said. Being your own boss. <laughs> easy. Being your own boss, you don't, you never off. You're never off. <laughs> never off. Um, but, yo, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, make sure you check out Baker Immaculate. Check out their clothing. Check out their music. And I want to talk about your music, bro. Let's get into that. Um, you know, you guys do a great job on YouTube, uh, first of all, with the vlogs. But let's just talk about the music. One of my favorite things to observe during the music was you're, uh, you were performing outdoors, a lot, you know, performing outdoors, mm-hmm. uh, in a park or, you know, uh, on the street. Um, talk me through that. And, you know, you said that you're, uh, you're pretty introverted. So how has that experience been? Has it been propelling you in the right direction? How has the response been from the people? Yeah, I actually, um, they've been fucking with it a lot and I, I was happy about that. As, sorry for cutting you up, but as much as like, I, has people been fucking with our music? I didn't think niggas was going to fuck with it because, like, like how you said, some people would be, like, trying to act like they don't like our shit, but really do like our shit, but don't want to watch our shit. Oh, man. But, nah, we've been getting, a lot, like, some good views. I ain't going to lie. Nah, yeah, and, yeah, the, um, yeah, the outside, I, the outside performances, I was just trying to do something new, get myself out there more. I'm even looking for more ways to, uh, do that, but I, I feel like it's a, uh, good way to promote the song, promote your music, just, get them to see that I'm in the music space because sometimes they'll just, you'll see a link, but it's like for them to click that is like a lot of work. So sometimes I'm putting your face pause. And then, yeah, pause. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> and yeah, and just feel me, just kick the ramen skill right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, do you uh, set up a speaker outdoors so it's, like, being projected and everyone can hear it? Oh, no, nah, I don't got no speaker. Um, I mean, when I'm with them, They'll bring a speaker, but when I'm by myself, I only got my laptop, and I put my hotspot on the laptop if I don't got the song. Because one, uh, one of the videos, I forgot to put the song like in my files, so I don't need the Wi-Fi, but I need the Wi-Fi. The song was already on YouTube, so I had to do the hotspot, 
and then play it, and then I put it like over to the side, put my tripod up, just press record, and then I go after I go to cap cut, edit it. Just gotta make sure all the words is good, and yeah, that's how I do it. How uh, has anyone approached you after your performance while you were just doing it to yourself out there alone? Nah, cause usually I go to the spots where there's nobody there. Secluded. <laughs> yeah, I like I like the I like the uh, I like the background though. But if it is people, like one of them, I was at Screen University, so I'm starting to get more comfortable. As I go, I'm like, just fuck it. Like I do. Sometimes I got built up some confidence to just do it. Cause I'd be like, you know, just self, self down, or I'm just a little standoffish. Regardless, like that's just the type of person I am. Usually, um, people gotta talk to me first, and then they'll be like, "Oh, you cool as hell, bro." But I won't say nothing. Like, <laughs> if you don't say nothing to me, I'll probably not say nothing to you at all. So overall, would you say you're an introverted character? Yeah, but I can be like once I get comfortable around you, like you'll see the real me. Like my coworkers, I'm just getting around. I'm getting comfortable around my coworkers, and I've been probably working with them for like two years. Not gonna lie, they see me like, "Nah, you funny as hell." Nah. So. so with the music, right? How often uh, do you drop? You know, I was looking at you know your SoundCloud. There's uh, there's songs. That are like scattered, you know what I mean? Um, how often are you creating music? Let's just be honest about that. What's going on? So, um, but for a while, I, was, um, I didn't create music for like a year. Because that's before we started on BandLab. So, everything was off the phone. So, our first tape we dropped, that was like 2020, I think. Like late 2020, that was me and Job Banks. And that, everything was off the phone, but the, it sounded so good. Like, the rhyming was so good. I like, we like the song, the whole group. I'm like, I don't care. I'm just put it on SoundCloud, put it on Apple. And then, like, because, you know, some stuff just pop off like that. Some stuff don't. But it didn't matter to me. Then after that, I was like, all right, I don't want to do this no more because I'll start hearing, like, nah, the quality just, that's the, all the criticism. Like, the quality just got to get better. So that's what I worked on. Just, and then I was just doing little freestyles because I was like, the strategy of the music, right? The tapes, right now, everything is, like, the attention span is so small. So I was like, I'll just do singles right now because nobody's listening to a body of work full through. Everybody wants that one banger. So I'm like, I'm going to just lock in real quick, do the music. That's when, And I was more focused on the clothing. So we were just um, just promoting the clothes right there. And then the other artists, they will have Brizo and Jod. Um, I think Brizo, he did. We were just having performances. We were still promoting the brand, just... I wasn't into the music at that point. And then, um, what else? Damn, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, then I, as progressively, um, I started to plan for the music. So, like, right now, this summer, I dropped a couple freestyles just to get myself slowly back into the progress, the process, and then dropped, we dropped the video, Moody. Yeah. That's out now. Go check that out. You seen that shit? Yo, I fucking posted it on my story, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah he, did. <laughs> like, he did. He did. He did. That- that video was tough, bro. I really Fire. the switch up, you know, the switch up with the with the beat there was one of my I, I fucked with it heavy. I was like, okay, hold on, slow it down. You say we got two songs in one. Yeah, no, very much say so, how? bro. And I enjoy that. I enjoy that. You know, I'm a big fan of that shit, you know. Uh Tower the Creator does it all the time, you know, like shit. I'm a big fan of that. So that moody video, shout out, uh Three False Prophets. Um, Adam, you know, you guys all did a great job on that. Um, who had the vision of the video? Who how how'd that all come about? Um, me and Adam collabed on that, but I just Shout told him my I want him. Yeah, we're Shout out three false, three false prophets. But yeah, I just told him like I want to um one shot, one shot take video. Everybody just going through the house. Everybody just gang, and he was like, all right. But he just he uh just gave everybody their places. We did we did like a run through of where we want everybody to be at, and it just came to fruition. He did he did a great job because like. I even I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. I said this in the last uh, interview, but I didn't know if he could do it just because some of his last the videos I've seen before were like um, they weren't. They were just simple. So I just I was like I told him what I wanted, and he did it. He performed. So now we got some more videos coming out with him. I, I fuck with Adam. What was the significance of that song? Is that like one of your first official music videos? Yeah, for okay. sure. So why did you choose that song out of all the other songs? And that song was released three years ago, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. So so clearly that song meant a lot to you that you wanted to make it right. into a music video. Why is that? Because that was the song 
me and Ja, we had we just agreed on like, nah, we gotta do a video to this. And I just we just wanted to keep the word because um that's like the first that's the intro to the tape. So we just wanted to um just keep that promise and that I feel like the transition was fire. Just that and some of the the other songs was um I felt like it would be it would have been harder. We needed a bigger budget to do the the videos for the ideas we had because mm-hmm. we like we like to think big. Our shits are bright, so yeah, <laughs> we like to think big. So we was like, we just gonna start off with this, and then if we want to do some more, we'll come back to it. Because I feel like con- you can always repurpose your content. So music is our uh, music, timeless. You can always go back to it, make a video. Oh, what's this? <laughs> like we're gonna keep going. So if we want to come back to a video, and then it's new ears. Everybody ain't hear that yet. So it's gonna be a new song with somebody else. So you were talking about, you know, that's going to be the intro to the tape. Yeah, right? that was that was the intro to uh the tape that came out three years ago. It was the Rookies of the Year. Um, it's me and Ja Binks. Do you have any other tapes up and coming? Um, me and Guapo, we actually going to plan to drop an EP soon. Fire. Good. That's just in the works, but probably be like at the top first quarter next year. But right now we just, I got the music video. I'm about to drop a freestyle. By the time this is out, the freestyle probably out uh, video. Go check out Fresh Go Freestyle. Shot Fresh Go Ball. And then um, we got another video in December and song, new song. We drop in December. Let's get it. What's up? Did we did we bring someone else new? Yeah. Yo, what's going on, oh, man? Brizo Welcome Benz to the studio. Ben. The Brizo band Benz. is here. Oh, nah. Ben, man. <laughs> Welcome to the studio, man. Welcome to the studio. So yeah, the the EPs, the tape, you know, you got stuff going on, man. Where do you record your music now? You know, you said you started in uh on I'm sorry, what was the name of the um, app? Band Lab. We, band we Lab. had the, you know, the low iPhone mic. <laughs> we, did, 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 did. we was going crazy on the iPhone mic, you know, trying to make some money off the iPhone mic. But yeah, now so I got a I got a little setup in in a in a crib, something like this, and then I just go on my laptop or we go to the studio and we just cook up some heat. Yeah, for the the setup in my crib, I, it's just usually me and I Get some. That's why I do my freestyles on. But mm-hmm. yeah. who who are the producers that you find yourself working with out here? So right now, uh, mm-hmm. I'm I'm trying to find some right now to do what to get on a team. But currently, we've been working with Sean. What's his name? S dot. Um, and then we we just been getting YouTube beats. Other than that, but we we mess with Sean. He's he's been our producer out here. He got You talking he, about the beats? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. He yeah, got yeah, a beat. Yeah. Brizo got a song with him. What's that song you did? Yeah, so fresh so clean fire. He did that beat. I fuck with that so hard. So but yeah, like um Yeah, shut up. Man. Pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> so um, you know, there's multiple people in a group that do make music, you know. So what is your style of music? You know, I, I like to think of, you know, when I when I think of a group of artists, I think about the woo, the Wu Tang, right? Um, you know, if you guys could compare yourselves, if everyone's educated on the Wu Tang, which know, which member are you? You know what I mean? Ourselves. Yeah. I went. Uh, well, uh, Wu Tang is like. I like. All right. You yeah, feel yeah, me? I get it. I get ourselves. it, bro. I yeah, get it. Different. That's two years ago. They from from me. They Staten Island. I love the Wu Tang. I like they they whole crew dynamic. But I would say, yeah, we do got some wild characters like ODB. But they, I feel like they all got some ODB in them because they all a little crazy. I ain't gonna lie. But but yeah. Um. I don't know. Yeah, we ourselves. We baker. Facts. That's the style. That's the style. Well, you know, when people want to see who you guys are and you guys actually being yourselves, you are doing these vlogs now. You know, these vlogs. You got this camera right here. I'm sure this is going to be a part of the vlog. What's up? Hello. Welcome. (laughs) I appreciate you guys for being here. You know what I mean? Um, How often are you guys recording these vlogs? Why did it it start out? You were just trying to show people who you guys really were? Yeah. um, um, Yeah, basically. Not yet, but... We got the, uh, I got, I've been, I was watching YouTube, before the vlogs, I was watching YouTube a lot, and DDG, he was doing a lot of vlogs, and I just be educating myself on just the, like, how to do stuff, and a lot of stuff just be easy, so, I was like, alright, we could do vlogs. At first, I was just gonna do, um, vlogs every day, but... We don't do stuff every day. Sometimes the shit is boring. So <laughs> I was like, we do vlogs when we gonna promote ourselves or just you know just do stuff as Have a group base. Or some shit like that. Yeah, as a group base. Cause I was like, I don't want to do YouTube by myself. Not doing that. And yeah, so we just got um. That's when we do the vlogs, basically. When we out in a in a community or we uh just trying to do a challenge. 
the challenges we been slacking on that, but those are coming back. Any thoughts for the vlogs working in the team? You're a funny guy. You ever yeah, gonna do stand up comedy? Nah, I, I I don't know. I don't wanna say I do stand up. I'm I'm more like like I just gotta be natural. Like that's how funny I am. Like I just do like I just say do you shit. Do improv. Natural just, comedian, yeah. the commercials. The commercials, commercials. Yeah, yeah, just like that. I can't. I don't know if if it was like on the spot, like niggas told me to like go do like stay on the stage, tell some jokes. I feel like I'm a bum that shit. Like yeah, crazy. yeah, like, yeah. Like he, like, I feel like <laughs> he definitely I feel like that shit gonna be ass <laughs> but, as hell. But I feel like uh, for the commercials, right? So I told him like I was like, yo, we gonna do a competition. We just gonna see whoever make the best commercial win this. I was completely lying, but I just want to. Yeah, he always, he always lying. He always lying when it comes yeah, to the no, competition. That's I just wanted though. to get the the competitive spirit out of them because, of course, like just to make the best commercials. Then I feel like it's him and and Brizo. They got the best commercials out the whole the whole thing. So. I really feel like it was my shit. If you really seen my shit, just nah, Brizo was like, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> Be That's funny. No, your commercials are hilarious, bro. I remember you were saying like, "If are are you getting no females? If if so, if so, then you know you might have to go and check out Baker Immaculate, you know." And it's just like you know uh, these these terms and uh, contacts were were not confirmed nor denied. You know, if you're <laughs> if you're a bum, you're a bum. But you know, we at least try to help you out a little bit. You know? Right, so, right, right. No, you guys are hilarious. You're a great group of people. Um, you know, how working in a group, I think it's absolutely amazing. You know, some of the struggles, would you care to expand on some of the struggles on working in a group? Some of the highlights oh. of working in a group? The, Everyone the, be trying to throw one idea at once instead of like, not sometimes like, no, their ideas are not even thought of. It's just like, oh, let me just throw this out here because everyone's talking. Nah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it is some of that. So it's like every getting everybody on the same page. I feel like... Um, just um, yeah, just talking in a group period, cause like everybody gotta say something to say at once. Some so we got we do gotta like uh get our communication better a lot of times. But um, I feel like the highlights is I feel like the group when we move as a group we a movement and nobody like it's a force nobody can stop it for. Real. I feel like people um gravitate towards movements better than a single person trying to. Put something out, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, bro. 110%. That is correct. Because uh, when you have a group of people supporting you and everyone is a part of it, it's just like you could get a larger reach, you know, for someone to think that they could do it by themselves is kind of crazy. It's absolutely insane. Yeah. Which can happen. It could happen. But it's way but better it's, than when it's, it's a group. It's likely you have a higher chance when you do it with more. Yes. Especially people that you trust. Like, you can't just do it with anyone. Like, we trust all of you. Like, all of us is like. For sure. The 100%. movement, movement. I love that, bro. Movement. Like, I, and I'm happy because I feel as though as I feel as though I am a part of the movement now. Word. So, you know, I really appreciate you guys for coming out. And you're you know, definitely a baker. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm a baker. You, you got the you hat got, on. Listen, listen. You got the you you consistent with your podcast. I'm telling anybody could be a baker. Is what I'm saying. Any you consistent with your podcast, and I see you um just dropping, trying to get your shit out there. And that's if, as long as you don't quit, and uh, you're gonna get somewhere. Can't stop, won't stop, bro. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't I, stop, won't stop, bad boy. Hold on. <laughs> All right, well, hey, guys, we're going to transition into tea time here in a few minutes, but, you know, we do have a, a big crew in the in room here. Um, so if you guys want to pass around the mic, maybe, you know, say a few things. If you have any questions for me or for Shy here before we get into tea time, you know, this is the time. Brizo, good on that. You ain't say nothing. <laughs> Welcome, Brizo. Welcome, Brizo. Yo, what's up? It's Ben, man. You already know who Brizo the GOAT. Oh, see what I'm saying. Make sure you talk close to it. No, what, what, whatever you want. You know, even if if you don't have a thought, at least you did your shout out, bro. You know, yeah, bro. You're, you're yeah, no yeah shout out or talk your shit. Oh yeah, the band tape coming too, nigga. Uh, it's twelve ten. You already know how the job coming. Uh, I'm doing a deluxe too this year, so you feel me? Some heat gonna come out. You feel me? Guapo, do you have anything? It's like Guapo, Wapo. He was over there eating McDonald's in the back dancing. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that McDonald's hit so different. It brought me back to life. But hear me out, right? Tea time. What are we talking about? Nah, it's not tea time. Oh, it's yet. not tea time. It's yet. not tea time. You just, just talking about tea shit. You just say tea time. Pop your shit real quick. Yeah, oh, Guapo. All right, say that. Yeah, move out your chair. Yeah. So, boom. Before we get into tea time, right? Me and my shot, boy Shaw, we got, we got a little, we got track dropping. It's gonna be the oh, song yeah. of the year. And I'm saying that's top, that's coming to top SMA's, of the year. SMA's, SMA's part two. We're gonna take that hip hop record of the year. And we're gonna get uh, video of the year because he's talking you know, heavy, heavy. We taking it all this year. 
I like that uh, energy. Besides that, let's get into this tea time, man. <laughs> I appreciate you for being here, man. We're looking forward to, I'm looking forward to seeing the group grow. I'm looking forward to just, you know, keep it tab, seeing what's going on because everyone is going to venture on in their own journey, but ultimately you will all come back together as bakers. For sure. And yeah, they trying to get into tea time. I feel like they're going to spill the beans. Make sure y'all watch tea time. <laughs> Cause that, I don't know what they're going to say, but <laughs> tea time, to... tea time can be wild, man. Tea time can nah, be wild. Yeah, word. Is there anything you want to say before we get off the air here? Um, yeah, like I said, moody video out now. Make sure you go tune that, share if you want. What, what they be saying? Um, like and like, like and subscribe. Comment, subscribe. Yeah. Um, feel me? It ain't nothing to press the share button. Feel me? We just trying to do our thing. Get out. Oh, moody, moody. Uh, Fresh Cabal Freestyle out now too. By the time this is out, it should be out. Um, new video next month, and just stay in tune. Hoodie's about to drop. Clothing, ooh. just be in tune. Just get in tune. Follow uh Bigger Mac on Instagram at Bigger Mac B A K E R I M M A C U L A T E. If you don't know how to spell it, that's uh, no excuse now. But yeah, for me, <laughs> yeah, don't walk. Run to the subscribe button. You don't got to click it. Punch it. Step on it. Just <laughs> click it. Make sure it's hit. Make sure y'all do y'all thing. For both of the brands. Fucking, you know yes, how it yes. goes. The Middleman Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to that too. Hey, and also for anyone listening on the artist, make sure you follow the artist as well. Just follow the artist. That's important. A lot of people don't. You can like the song, but what's more important is following the artist. Just follow them. You know, but with that being Word. said... Everyone, I appreciate you for coming out. I appreciate being a part of the Baker movement. You better be a part of the Baker movement. Go get your merch. Cop out. It's fly. You look fresh to death. I'm not lying. All right, but with that being said, I am the man in the middle, Kevin Martinez. We're going to transition to the tea time, not brought to you by, but inspired by Arizona IC. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Yes, sir, Big Baker.